This is Professor Lloyd Bogenstein, creator of Game City, an amazing new and innovative gaming experience where humans can actually enter the digital realm and play as actual characters within an actual video game. <laughs> I recently sent a prototype headset for Game City to my nephew Gavin. Apparently, someone else got hold of it first. Careful, Lady Shark, we don't know how that works yet. Yes, you have to read the instructions before using. Poor creature. What was her name? Uh, deadly dolphin? No. W w woman whale? Sister, sister squid. It uh, does, doesn't matter. Uh, bottom line, she's stuck in Game City. As of today, my nephew Gavin and his considerably older friend Matt have entered my home and research facility. They engaged my security system and met my illustrious AI, Vicky. Say hi, Vicky. No, mm, well, thank you. <laughs> All right, then. Against my security system, Gavin and Matt did not do that. Their destruction was imminent. But I came to the rescue. Vicky, please disable all security protocols including the self-destruct sequence. Oh, yeah. ah, there we are. Thank you, Big Head. Yes, yes, I, I rescued them. And now the, the three of us must rescue this uh, friend, friendly fish, sassy seahorse, slappy salmon. Never mind. We must rescue <laughs> Uh, home sweet home. Now, where does this go? Right there. Uh, five minutes on the two. Uh, should we be worried about that? Uh, it's fine. I need... Yes, yes, yes. All right. What are you doing? Preparing you for your digital adventure. Okay. Uh, cough for me. <coughs> have you seen your doctor recently? Why? Dentist? Yeah, I had my teeth cleaned recently. Why does that matter? Oh, it'll be fine. Well, why is that important? Drink it. Professor. Manners. Okay. Fine. Will you please drink it? Yeah. You drank all of it. Yes. What is it? Uh, you don't want to know. Maybe I should go too. Well, you can't go now. Gavin just drank all the serum. I'm Gavin, remember? Wait, which one of you is good at video games? Gavin. Gavin. Well, this is a bit of a setback, but we shall sally forth. Guess I'm going. Matt, it's, it's been an honor. Thanks, brother. None of that. Here. There you get into the yeah. digimographizer. The what? Digimographizer. Oh. Okay. You and I chew on that. Professor. Please. Now, you and I are going to help um, Matt. 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 You, Gavin. We are going to help Matt using these two monitors. What's on this one? Oh, this is the hub for Game City. This is where Matt will actually be going. And what's on this one? 
Don't swallow that. <laughs> this is various code uh, that runs Game City. It's, it's the, the lifeblood of the entire digital infrastructure. Here, hold that. Oh, why? That's unreal. What? What does the code say? This is the most amazing new brownie recipe. Oh my, I must try this. Matt, maybe you don't need to do this. Maybe Lady Shark's happy in Game City. I mean, she hasn't really been a good friend to us anyways. I mean, she always beats us up with pool noodles. She beats you with pool noodles? Yeah, wanna see? Sure. Vicky, can you access our video database and show Uncle Lloyd what I mean? Of course. Video montage of relevant Lady Shark beatdowns now available to view on monitor one. There was certainly some anger issues there. But, well, you know, she is still a living creature, so we must do everything we can to rescue her. So, what do I do when I get to Game City? Oh, don't worry, we'll, we'll guide you through. We'll be able to see and hear you, but you will only be able to hear us. Oh, and... Read this. Hacking for dummies? Yes. Gavin here will hopefully be able to learn some nice hacks to give Matt power-ups along the way so that he can beat our three challenges. Digimographizer is ready and primed. Are we ready? We've made a few alterations since the prototype. Okay. See you, Matt. Wow. <laughs> well, nice job, Uncle Lloyd. This place is awesome. It feels so real. I'm proud of you, Matt. You're being a lot like Jesus, actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm confused. How is Matt being like Jesus? Well, Matt entered Game City to save Lady Shark, and Jesus entered our world to save us. Oh, uh, why did we need saving? I thought you and my mom went to church as kids. Uh, yes, but I'm not a very good listener. Professor, that's terrible. Don't judge me, Vicky. I had a very active imagination as a child. It was very easily distracted. Come to our church. It's definitely not boring. Uh, now, where do I go? Right? Left? Just stay there. I'll, I'll load the gameplay options for your first challenge. Oh yeah, three challenges before we can rescue Lady Shark, right? Exactly. Now tell me, uh, why did Jesus need to save us? Oh, well, uh, God created humans to be his family and to help him rule over the whole world, uh, but we decided to rebel against God. Basically, we tried to be God and rule on our own, and that's how sin entered the world and corrupted it. Oh, yes, uh, sin. What, what is that exactly? Sin is making the wrong choice. It is doing something bad or failing to do something good. Nice job, Vicky. Sin separated us from God, who is the source of all life. So because sin separates us from God, it leads to death. That's why Jesus came to earth, to defeat sin and death. Hmm, this seems complicated. Well, uh, think of it like a giant video game. Every one of us wants to win the game and we think we can win on our own. Some of us think we're the best player ever. Not you, Matt. 
He's really bad at video games. <clears throat> yes. Thank you, Gavin. The point is, no one can win the game of life. All of us eventually lose. We make mistakes, and it's game over. Well, that's depressing. That's not the end of the story. Sure, we lost, but Jesus won. Jesus lived a perfect life. He never sinned. It's like he played the perfect game. But how does that save us from sin? Well, Jesus died for our sin. He died? Why did he have to die? Well, remember, sin leads to death. Actually, there's a verse in the Bible about this. Uh, Romans 6.23, right, Matt? Yeah, nice job, Gavin. I actually listened in church. Ha ha. So this, uh, this Bible verse. Uh, Vicky, please analyze. The Book of Romans, 6th chapter, 23rd verse, from the New International Version of the Bible. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanks again, Vicky. Someone had to pay the price of sin. We couldn't pay it on our own, so Jesus did it for us. He died for our sin. That's sad. The story's still not done. Three days after he died, Jesus came back to life. Really? Wow, no one's ever done that. Yeah, he defeated sin and death. <laughs> like I said, we lost, but Jesus won. And when we choose to follow him, he offers us a new life with him, eternal life. It's like he's the ultimate player one, and we become his player two. Interesting. Whoa. What's all this? Ah, game options loaded. Uh, Gavin, please man that keyboard. On my mark, press the enter button. Three, two, one, my mark. There. Why there? Oh, I ran a trace program on uh, Shark Lady. It's Lady Shark. Well, that's what I said anyway, because her code is unique. It's easy to trace, and it leads to this door. This is the door she picked for her first challenge. I'm reading something very strange, Professor. Some kind of anomaly. But your three-challenge construct is still in place. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, remember, Matt, you have to win each challenge to rescue Shark Lady. Uh, Lady Shark. Is there an echo in here? Yes, Shark Lady, I got it, Gavin. I'm Matt. Oh no, he's he's terrible at video games. You got this, Matt. Uh, uh, yes, good luck, we're with you. Okay, first challenge. Let's go. 